Hey everyone, I just wanted to let you all know that I just got this car up and running and fixed. Uh, I know a few days ago I posted a video about uh, the car being out of condition and not working. Uh, it was kind of a, an opening video to showing how this car had functions and how it worked. And it ended up with me uh, frustrated and confused as to why this car wasn't running the way it was supposed to. Um, so I just spent the last couple of days tinkering and taking things apart, configuring, um, looking at how some of the systems uh, were connected and interlinked. And then I did some more uh, modifications. And uh, well, I've got, I believe I have it fixed. So uh, in this video, I'm just gonna be trying it out uh, to see if it works. So uh, why don't we first run over the uh, start of this here. Uh, I got the battery box all wired up to the lights and the controller module. First of all, here's the switch when it turns on and the lights are on and the control module is blinking, indicating that it is ready. Uh, within this, when I power up this, uh, it goes to two different cables. This cable goes to uh, the dual motor uh, power setup and this cable will go to the steering module uh, right here. <clears throat> and that will help me steer the car. Uh, as I said though, <clears throat> sorry, my throat is a bit dry. Um, it has very touchy steering, so I'm probably not gonna do any showcase of uh, steering or anything like that just because it's a pain to work with. Um, it definitely would uh, need some modifications and some other work on that. But other than that, I do have this thing running. So without further ado, let's show the uh, car running. Oh, that's weird. There we go. As you can see, everything is running. Engine. Sorry, my camera's a little out of focus right now. Uh, and now we're gonna put it in gear. Put it in gear with the engine. And there you go. I don't know if this thing is gonna go any faster. Probably not. Yeah, if I go this way, it goes slower. If I go this way, it, me it reaches the uh, maximum we were just at. Um, I believe this stir works for, oh, weird. Yeah, that's the steering right there, this one. There we go, see that? There's the wonderful steering module doing its work. Now I'm just gonna straighten this out. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna turn this off so I can straighten it out without any more uh, electrical stuff to deal with here. Um, there we go. It's a little bit weird sometimes with this steering because it's so hard to turn it and then when you turn it a bit past maximum it gets easy because I guess the differential just kind of gives into it and it's like, oh yeah, I'll just rotate, I guess. I don't know. It's weird. Um, here, I'm going to pick up the car for a second here. So we're gonna do a little running test on uh, just riding this thing across the room, I guess. At least I'm not gonna sit on it because obviously it would break under my weight, um, but I will be driving it. So let's see here. Oh yeah, I gotta turn it on. Bop. Okay, so take it out of gear. Put it in gear. There we go. Okay, so this thing has kind of a problem with accelerating. So it'll be a little bit before this thing kind of just picks up because you'll see the gears are like slowly making their way across and moving it, but it's very weird. As you can see it, yeah, pops out of gear really easily and uh, takes a little bit for it to pick up. The weirdest thing that happens though is that 
sometimes when I replace the battery, I should probably stop that. There we go. Uh, sometimes when I replace the battery, it, uh, it runs just fine, I guess. I, I don't know what it is. I'm sure it's probably just, just because the battery has a slight bit more electricity to flow through, but, uh, I don't really, I don't really worry about it too much. There we go. Now I'm slowing it down, bringing it back. Here it comes. There's my bin of other parts. Oh, that's weird. There we go. It just needs a bit of, of assistance sometimes. Um, and that's just due to the weight it carries. Yeah, it's a little, right now it's a little bit weird. Um, but obviously there are definitely some improvements I can make. Um, but yeah. Hope you guys liked this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, you know, let me know what you think I could build next for a uh, Lego creation or Lego Technic creation. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, I really like doing this kind of stuff because it teaches me about um, how things should be geared, how much power you need, uh, power you need, <laughs> uh, and other stuff like that. So uh, really, it's fun to experiment with this stuff and uh, learn. I do de definitely recommend that you go online somewhere and buy some uh, parts like this, like these big wheels. I bought these, uh, not by Lego, but a different company. Um, and just buy some parts like this and experiment on your own. It is definitely a boatload of fun, and I recommend it to anybody who's into uh, engineering or STEM uh, building, uh, because I certainly uh, feel like that's definitely my field. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.